April 8th, and yesterday was the highest death count for coronavirus victims, April 7th, than we, that we've had in the uh, this entire pandemic. April 7th was the most deadliest day for California and also for the United States. So over here, the Smart and Final, they're still open. Sometimes there's a short line in front of that Smart and Final. But we're going down Crenshaw, past 30th Street. To the, to the west, I'm sorry, to the east of me is the, the Black the Black Peace Stones, the City Stones. To the west is uh, West Boulevard. And now we're passing Jefferson. We are now to the east. This way would be the Harlem 30s, the Avenue Harlem 30s. got the West Boulevards to the West. Not so much uh, on this side of Crenshaw to the West, but back by Adams. Over on, really directly to the West over here is a still a small pocket of neutral area. Nobody really claims it. But we're up here at the red light on Exposition. The big church that West Angeles built a few years ago. This used to be a, a huge warehouse that took up this whole block called 20th Century. And they tore it down, I don't know, maybe like t 10 years ago or more. West Angeles built this huge mega church. approaching where two train lines will be coming together. This is where the Expo line and the Crenshaw line will be coming together. The Expo line platform is right there and the Crenshaw line platform is under construction right here where Conroy's Flowers and Yum Yum Donuts and Earl's Grill used to be. They tore all that down. They tore down the Ralph that used to be on this corner for the Crenshaw line. And that part of the Crenshaw line is underground. It's right underground. So a lot of the stores are still open. Pet Boys is open for business. CVS over there is open for business. The Starbucks is closed. They closed the Starbucks. The, everything over here is closed. The Big Five is closed. All the restaurants. The Denny's is doing delivery and takeout. So Denny's is closed for for in in-house dining. And let me add that it's 4:30 p.m. and it's Wednesday, and this would be full of traffic on any normal day. Now the two restaurants over here, the New Earl's Grill and Orleans in York, are open for business, but only for takeout. And there are people in there right now. Over here to the west, the Albertsons Market, they're open for business. Inside here is a Buffalo Wild Wings, they're closed. And the mall, the mall is completely closed right here. In fact, you see that parking lot is all empty. So here we are on MLK and Crenshaw, still going south. The Krispy Kreme Donut Store is open only drive-through, drive-through only. I'm not even sure if you can walk in. MLK and Crenshaw, red light. Let's 
Let's see if the, the Krispy Kreme is. It says here drive through open 24 7. So you can still get your donut fix if you want. But please be aware if you have an underlying condition, you shouldn't be eating any any food that's not proper for your diet. This is construction for the Crenshaw line, still underground. The Crenshaw line at this part point is still underground. And here we are at the red light for Stocker and Crenshaw. The old liquor bank that's gonna be torn down. They're gonna be building something there. It says for lease, but they're gonna be tearing that down. So if you've seen the movie Baby Boy, that's where Tyrese Gibson was hustling his his clothing. Uh, that was before they put the black gate around it. There was no black gate in the parking lot of the liquor bank when they shot Baby Boy with Tyrese and Taraji Henson. But the liquor bank will be no more once it once it gets demolished and the new store goes up. That that corner has been vacant uh, for at least uh, since 2012 or 13. It used to be a smog check station and it's just been a vacant lot there. So that says for lease. I'm sure it's already purchased. So here we are on Crenshaw in the 40s. The right is View Park. That would be on the west side of Crenshaw. To the left is Lemur Park. To the east. So Crenshaw is actually the border between Lemur Park and View Park. And there is a auto shop actually called View Park Automotive. View Park Automotive to the west. And you'll see as we come around this bend, Lemur Park will be to the east here. There's the world famous Lemur Park. Passing Vernon, we got the Rolling 40s Avenues to the east. here on 48th Street. And this construction here is for the for the Crenshaw line and there you can see the tracks. So at this point it's not underground. At this point the train will elevate to the surface which I was disappointed to, to learn about. I, f I felt that the whole train should be underneath underground like a true subway so it doesn't impede traffic. But of course, the, the cost of that is significant. I mean, they got the money for it. They got the money for wars, but they don't have the money. There's where the train actually comes right out of the ground, right there. So now we're going east on 48th Street. famous high schools in all of Los Angeles definitely Crenshaw High you got to put it up there with Dorsey Dorsey High School definitely one of the most known high schools in the, in the city uh, what other high schools will we put up there we'll put we'll put Lock Lock High School you got to put uh, Hamilton Hamilton is well-known high school and I'm saying well known because of 
mostly sporting achievements and just the reputation that it had, especially during the 1980s and 1990s. So normally this school would be letting out hundreds of kids nothing today because coronavirus killed it and I'm gonna end this video right here at the Crenshaw High baseball field Just to the other side of Crenshaw, to the east right here is where the VNGs would be. We're on 52nd and 11th Ave. And the VNGs are right down there. And basically the, the rolling 60s start right down there. I'd say they start like right around 57th. 57th. 50, yeah, around 57th. Basically, the 60s and the VNGs are very close neighbors geographically. And pulling up right here on 54th. This is still VNG hood. 54th and 11th Ave. There goes Crenshaw. And on that note, thanks for checking out another edition of Street TV. And maintain your social distancing. Remember, if you have an underlying condition, like most of us of color do, this virus is far more dangerous for you than it is for others. Please take this serious. It's no joke. It's no. This is not fake. I'm, I'm a little disappointed at how many people are still talking about it's fake, and you're perpetuating nonsense that can cause people to to not maintain the proper social distancing that they don't catch this virus because it is extremely deadly if you have an underlying condition. If you have an un and if you don't have an underlying condition, it's still deadly because you can pass it on to a family member, a parent, an aunt and uncle that does. So while I'm sitting here parked northbound on Crenshaw Boulevard, looking at the Hollywood Hills, signing out.